With the official opening ceremonies for this year's Andros Crab Fest took place Friday night. Our Julian Gibson was there and tells us it was the start of an action-packed weekend. After an early downpour of rain, well, the 2013 Crab Fest officially got underway with the opening ceremonies. I was here when this whole event started. I was here when it was but a dream and many thought that it could not live. And they did not believe that many would come to celebrate crabs or even crabbing. But the truth is, it has come of age. It has become a festival of festivals in our Bahamas. And I think it's only right for us to remember that the individuals who were behind this event, including our own Peter Douglas, should be congratulated for the work that they have done over these many years. Not many years ago, persons wouldn't have been liked to have been linked in any way to Andros and being connoted as a crab catcher. Now you see all the F-150 and all the nice trucks and cars are coming off the various boats to come to Andros to put crab in the back of their cars to carry back to New Providence. God is a good God. As a matter of fact, Teresa, crab is more expensive than crawfish in many quarters right now because crabs have become a delicacy. We have crab this, we have crab kung for the G, we have crab salad, we have everything crab. God has been good. So today, we must now protect our habitats and therefore we ask you not to catch the spawning crabs. Now after the official opening ceremonies, it was the much anticipated release of the crabs. Catch the crab, catch him, don't get bite, where to go? The night would conclude with an all-Bohemian concert.